these these immersion chambers. We saw one in Chorazin. There was one in Nazareth. There's one in all the synagogues. So they would have been accustomed to immerse themselves before they would have come up on. They would have taken off their shoes and gone up onto the mount. So now look at the account in Acts 1 and 2. I'm sorry, I didn't bring my Bible because I thought we were going onto the mount. But think of this and read it when you go home. They were gathered at the house, Habayat. The spirit, that, well, what happens? A wind blows, and then flames of fire, tongues of fire come. Now, think your way into the mind of a first century observant Jewish pilgrim. Tongues of fire coming down. Where would your mind have gone? Back to Sinai, where in Acts 19, the Lord, the glory of the Lord came down on fire upon the mountain. So this would have made this association. And in rabbinic tradition, when they count, they actually say that Israel came to Sinai 50 days after they had left Egypt. So Pentecost is now coming 50 days after the festival of weeks. The tongues of fire come down. It evokes the God of Sinai. Now we read on that day, 3,000 were baptized. And we're still thinking, how can we have that? How could 3,000 people be baptized in a typical church? Okay, um, ladies. Well, remember, you're looking in now.